Now when you think flight, what comes to mind? Well, first man that came, I feel bad for him. <laughs> Hi everyone, your creative educator here, and welcome to Sparks the Flames Education, where you get great science, math, and reading content, and really fun and creative ways of inspiring learning. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification so that you can see our new videos on Mondays. Like and share, and yes, subscribe now. He feels sorry for him because the flight didn't end too well. So in today's video, we talk flight. Drop like a red food. But a glider does not do that. A glider gradually descends because it's designed to use air particles to hold it up until it gradually, gradually hits the ground. Unlike breadfruit. For this design, we use recycled cups, cardboard, and glue. But this was actually a design that was built for something else that we're repurposing for this glider. Okay, people. So, I made this thing, which is a really cool toy. I'll show you how it works a little bit later. But, Little Hands wants to turn it into a paraglider. Now, I'm not too familiar with paragliders, but he's been explaining to me, right? And so, we've been talking about how to make this thing work as a paraglider. First thing, I explained to him that you have ear particles. Air particles are considered matter. They're gas particles, and gas particles can exert pressure. And when something can exert pressure, it can withstand pressure from outside forces, or it, in this case, it can cause the object not to hit the ground so suddenly. Now, if the object is very heavy, now that's a different story. If the object is designed to trap the air and to use that pressure that it is exerting to keep it up, then the object will stay afloat for a little bit longer. So the air particles become like a little cushiony soft landing for the object. So that's what we're going to try. This is why things like paper don't go flying through the air or falling through the air. They actually fly through the air because paper is so lightweight that the air particles can actually hold up the paper for a longer time and it just floats. This is why things like paper don't go pause. Okay, now people, so the first thing we're gonna do is drop the book. So let's do that again. So drop the book. Bomb. So it moved the air out the way. So now we're gonna drop the paper. It moves the air out the way, but just slowly. Now we're gonna open this bag and drop this bag. This is the idea for the cup. We try to trap the air under the bag so that it won't move out the way and it will have to hold the bag up. Make sense? So hold the bag at the two end them. Put it, you can drop the book. Hold the bag at the two end them and let's see what. Was there a difference? Try it again. We never see it. Oh, you know, you're right, you know. Going in the trampoline and dropping them from the trampoline is better because you have more air. All right, go on. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to do the plastic bag. Okay, so the plastic bag, you're going to open it again to trap the air. So put on the bag, put on the other bag. So open the plastic bag like you're going to trap the air underneath it. You get me? No, flip it over. Yeah, there you go. And then you're gonna drop it from like oh perfect there you go let's go nice you see how that descent was slower so that's the idea with the cups okay wait 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 go 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 did that not work try it again no people, I am not a mean aunt. <laughs> Go. That work a lot better. Oh. Okay, people, so yeah. We got the paraglider in the trampoline. Okay, people, we got some distance. We're gonna try the paraglider from a height. Okay. Human flight, right? <clears throat> With human flight, 
there's a story of course i know you know about the wright brothers because you can talk about the wright brothers right Okay, talk about what the Wright Brothers did. Well, the Wright Brothers, well, you should know the names by now. Mm -hmm. Arvell is one is one of the most common ones since he was the one that did it. But, but well, I I watched some videos mm -hmm. that are kid friendly and and I just saw, and I saw only one take flight. Mm -hmm. But actually, in real life, mm -hmm. it actually they they both fly at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I think I think the kid version's right, because I saw some uh, some flashbacks and I saw one and one. And... Okay, so yeah, take away. Okay, so we got the Wright brothers, who most people associate with flight. We also have the Da Vinci drawings and sketches of airplanes. But would you believe that there were people before that that attempted flight? And there is a story. I don't even want to say story. There's historical data about a man a muslim man that actually took flight so we're going to do a little bit of research about this man and we're going to talk about he how he actually took flight this man is named abbas ibn Farnas, who manned the first flight around the ninth century he actually made this invention out of bamboo silk and feathers things that he found around and he actually did it he got a good distance in he didn't work out the landing too well i heard so he didn't land too well but he actually did a really good job with the fight there you have it and this inspired a lot of other inventors to continue to develop the idea because he was also inspired by something that he saw so the invention just kept developing developing and now we have modern day aircrafts who knew thank you for watching hopefully you learned something please subscribe like or share and visit our website www.sparksofflameseducation.com and see you next week monday